Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As promised, I am doing my gaming benchmark review and also more of a quick look and my thoughts after using this device as my daily driver. I got rid of uh, my desktop and I'm using this fully as I prepare to do more remote work across the country and I wanted to give you guys a review from a probably a gaming benchmark, content creator benchmark um, so that you guys could get a better idea or picture of how this device stacks up. So the first thing I want to hit off is more of a content creator and then I'm going to get into some of the benchmarks that you guys requested from uh, my YouTube and Reddit post. Um, but something that I like about this device is that you could use a USB uh, C and there's two of them and I had to move this one over a little because of my capture card. So what, you, what you're seeing here from a content creator perspective is a DSLR hooked up to my um, USB port and this is just being recorded directly with OBS. Now a part of this bench and setup is going to be using the same 1440p monitor that I had been using as my desktop, but that's the same performance that you're going to get out of the 1440p laptop um, internal monitor. So that's just something to keep in mind when you're watching this review. For the rest of this video, we're just going to be going into benchmarks and I'm going to do a version where I record off camera and then I'm going to also record with OBS. So the settings that I'm using for OBS um, could be useful for you if you want to know what I'm using at. I'm doing 2560 by 4040p and this is in OBS directly. I'm recording at 25 uh, at the CQP. So now that could be important um, in this benchmark that you're going to watch is if you guys are content creators or maybe you want to do streaming, this is going to be the performance of that. Uh, the laptop's actually over here on the left. I can't fit in my frame. Um, but I think the important part is, you know, just getting these benchmarks out of the way. So the first one I wanted to do is 3D Mark with OBS recording. Um, so let's just take a look as I prepare first time setups. So one thing I think is important to mention before I run all these benchmarks as well, as we get into the 3D Mark, is that there is something called Army, Armory Crate that's going to be in all of your benchmarks and you can see it has overclock settings and stuff like that. For all these tests, I'm going to do Windows and this is through reading some reviews and stuff of that nature. Um, and the Windows is going to be at better performance. So that's just the settings I'm going to choose to do. Um, you may get better performance um, in certain frames, probably at a 10%, but this is going to be for the typical user. So let's run this 3D benchmark and let's see the results we get. All right, so let's get into the recording. So right now, this one's going to be tested with the OBS recording at the previous settings I've done. So this is on screen, and then I'm going to then test it again with the camera um, recording, and I'll just sync it up in post so you guys can see the performance and stuff of that nature. So again, this is for people who want to get testing out of something that you might want to do your own screen recording on OBS with this device, or you may want to do uh, live streaming on Twitch, YouTube, or Facebook. Um, you could probably pick up a little in the microphone that I have some uh, fan noise, uh, but I do have NVIDIA broadcast so it may reduce that. Uh, so another benefit of why I got this device is just a little thing you may want to do for um, when you do your testing or when you do your content creation. Okay, so something I'm finding interesting here and could be a setting is that th I have two monitors and this monitor, which is 144 Hertz, is directly connected to my 144 Hertz, um, but it seems to be connected um, when I choose this setting in display one, it seems to be connected only um, not through this RTX 370. So I think that may affect um, some settings because I noticed that when I tried to run the benchmark, it was on the wrong monitor, but we'll see what happens here when I run and if um, something changes or I get drastic different results from this external monitor. So when running this, um, one commentary I want to make is that the fans are blowing full speed. If I change the audio sources to my uh, A600, you could get that sound effect and you could hear it. Right 
right. So after this has been done, it says that my score is six one six one five, and the average is nine three one five. So this could be something of a setting that I think may be important or no one has reviewed yet is this graphic setting has a way that you choose which monitor uses the output. So just for some context, the HDMI that is placed directly into the laptop is powering this 1440p. And then I have a USB-C dongle that I've used for my M1 MacBook, and that's connected to a 1080p one. Now, the only way to get me recording this desktop one, which is the one directly connected to the HDMI port that comes on the device in OBS is to choose power saving. So I think there may be some mix up or some kind of thing that affects external monitor users. Maybe, maybe this won't affect you when you are utilizing the device um, as a laptop, because most people will, will be playing video games on a laptop. But if you have some kind of external monitor or trying to have like a laptop to desktop studio monitor, like desk setup, like I have, um, this may be something that you want to consider, or for me actually also to consider, um, benching as well so this is a very interesting run and I, I don't think it's just from running obs i think it literally has something to do with this display one not on the same pc i bandwidth but the external display on my usb dongle that's running a 1080p is the one that's for some reason connected to the graphics card directly so that doesn't make sense to me because you know the device has a hdmi port so why would they connect the HDMI port to the AMD graphics card? And then you have to have a dongle or USB-C adapter to HDMI to connect to the GTX. So uh, maybe I did something wrong. Uh, if anyone knows, drop a comment below, but I'm going to go ahead and keep going here. Um, so a request I got was to run Forza and see how that is. So I literally had a Reddit request, bought the game. Um, I hope this comes with a benchmark. Otherwise, I'm not exactly sure I'm going to show my frames um, besides Steam overlay. Um, but once again, this is going to be just run no settings at all changed in the graphics settings. So maybe if I choose OBS or I go to play the Forza EXE, I could make it forced to go. Uh, but we'll see how this plays out. Hey everyone, so as I was doing this in post, I noticed that OBS stopped recording. I think it's an issue, again, maybe with NVIDIA, maybe some OBS broadcast settings where there's just some gaps or something here. But um, what I wanted to showcase was that the graphics I got was about 59 during the bench and all the settings were 60 FPS. So even despite having a benchmark bug that I'll talk about later in this video, still decent performance. And if you're not recording, you'll definitely get better performance. Okay, let's look at launching Cyberpunk 2077. And again, this is, of course, going to be um, just benchmarks for creators. So I think that this could be a powerful test that if you weren't doing OBS and this is just pure gameplay video, you would just be getting better frames. But what I wanted to test is for people who want to do streaming on the same device. Um, definitely from Forza, you could get 60 FPS and stream that. Hey guys, so I'm going to be re-talking over this as a voiceover. So something that is weird, uh, again, just real life performance. 
um, is that I was talking during this version while I was recording the game sounds and also doing my recordings here, but it didn't get picked up in my final output. So that could affect, you know, if you guys are streaming or recording, it's going to be the same thing. So um, what I wanted to mention in this part were the settings and my configuration that I was doing to try to get better performance. So this ray tracing ultra came from my desktop and I think the Steam Cloud settings made it go in. But when I was playing the video game, everything set to high. On a desktop 3060 Ti, I wasn't able to get great performance. Now, later in this video, you'll see where I start talking about something where uh, there could be issues with OBS recording and something to that effect. I'm going to do another video and retest this only having a single monitor. You can see on the right side, on the top right, where it says mute mic one, that red button, I have two monitors connected. Um, so the gist of this voiceover is to just say that when I was testing this, it was unplayable. And I think it's due to a bug that I'll talk about at the end of this video. I get more into it when I start testing Dota 2. But as far as this goes, I was unable to get uh, great performance when testing on Cyberpunk. All right, guys, so today I'm recording this the day of the Dota 2 release of Dragon Blood. So I'm really excited to be watching that. If you guys uh, like Dota 2, uh, hit me up because I enjoy playing it. So I'm down to play with you guys if you want to play on Discord and whatnot. Um, but yeah, going into this, I again, the OBS recording did not record my uh, output. So I'm again doing a voiceover. Um, so something you may run into when you're running you know, when you become a content creator, your microphone doesn't cut off or stuff of that nature. Um, so always be looking at that when testing an OBS. Um, but there are some things that I want to talk about when doing this that I got strange performance and I want to showcase that. When I played this a couple of days ago without OBS and recording, I, I would expect to look like Prepare for battle. So you can see from the top left and at the top right, Steam Overlay has this at 60 FPS. But I know that when I didn't have OBS recording and just directly recording straight from, um, you know, not even recording with OBS, it made me think maybe there's a, a graphics issue with OBS um, that's hitting my. Uh, recording settings and what you can test and see here is something important is that uh, there's something called armory crate and this could show you some uh, debugging that you could be doing so right now I'm on Windows settings and I have the power set to normal but one of the things where I started noticing was that there's some kind of issue going on with the GPU 0 versus GPU 1 and I really believe that this is the cause of the slow OBS recording now literally what happens is when I have OBS off, I'll get probably 90 frames per second, and I'll show that later in this video. My, my but when OBS block. is even on, not even recording, I'm getting this 40 FPS settings. And I know this isn't right because I've played this game with my friends on, I've been using this for like a week now. I get maybe 120 FPS settings. And I really think the main cause, the main issue is the graphic settings to record the main desktop. So this is something that you'll see if you guys are thinking about getting this device that only affects people who are using multiple monitors. I use the 1440p that's in front of me that this is screen recorded on because it's a gaming monitor. And then I have a side monitor, which is just 1080p, 60 FPS. Um, but the only way that OBS was able to record this is by using um, something called low power mode in the graphics settings. So the one, uh, why I want to highlight here is just literally me speeding through some configuration settings all to sh just basically solve the issue. But this is for people who want to be content creators and stuff like that. Um, you know, I just want to put a little plug in, not just for the time it takes for me doing this, but also for yourself encouraging you. Hey guys, if you want to make content for people, if this is something you enjoy doing, you know, even though this is going to be a 10 minute video, 20 minute video, there's going to be a little bit of hours spent trying to debug and get the results that could help people. And I want to just showcase this really sped up thing with me as a voiceover, just to showcase the amount of testing that goes involved in being a YouTube YouTuber, Facebook streamer, whatever you guys want to do, put in the work. So let's get back to it. All right. So 
I wanted to just give everyone like kind of resolution. I'm going to be f doing further benchmarks, but as you can see, this is recording on OBS and I was getting 90 frames per second. Now here I showed that I was doing it high performance mode. Um, so again, this is a voiceover because some of the mic settings didn't work out right. Uh, but I'm getting 120 frames per second in OBS. And the way that I did that is I disconnected everything and just connected directly on the HDMI port that was listed. And I also, I also had to disable my monitor, the internal graphics monitor monitor that comes on the display and just use this external one. Now, I think this is important to know because if you have two monitors, two displays and one's from a dongle and one's from the HDMI that comes out of it, you'll see here that if you have this kind of setup, if you want to get OBS to record your gaming monitor or your gaming thing, there's definitely a bug. I will 100% I think with clarity as I'm going to do more research, a bug that prevents you from recording and gets you lower FPS than if you were just maybe just running directly off your laptop monitor. So this is just going to affect people who like using external monitors. Maybe, you know, you want to use the, the laptop monitor, you want to use your monitor, you want to use a second, third monitor. So you have three monitors you're going to get this bug with OBS and streaming. Now for people who are just not into that, just doing gaming or stuff like that, you'll definitely get 120 FPS on Dota 2. And maybe I'll rerun some of these benchmarks, just doing everything from one monitor. But this is something to look into. You can see this is a GPU engine. It tells you GPUs one or zero. There's definitely a bug in, in duplicating OBS and setting OBS to low power and then screen recording, um, you know, the, where your games are happening. So that's something that you want to look out for. Um, let me know what other video games, other content, anything else you want me to doing. Um, I'll even do a video benchmark test as well. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next one. Peace.